Hello everybody, welcome to a new bucket tutorial. <clears throat> In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to do something like this. You'll see that on this map, it's rendered my underscore miles, which is my username. We're looking at custom map rendering. And you could have it paint a picture. I've actually had a really cool idea where you could have it display a picture of a menu and you could have it so when they put their crosshair over it and click it'll change the map and it'll look like a menu because of the head rotation using your and stuff but anyway onto the tutorial so let's disconnect um, ok so what have I got so far I simply just got it right implementing a listener and it will register the events. So you need to create a, a new event so it will add the event handler because you need that. And we'll go public void on the map. Map initialize event. I've probably spelled that wrong but have I? Don't think so. Okay, so once you've done that, um, what we need to do is, this will be our normal Minecraft map. So, in maps there's something called renderers, um, e dot get on the map. Uh, and you can see there's renderers. And basically, um, these renderers render normal Minecraft. So, yeah. Um, so what we can do is we need to take out all the other renderers. So we can easily do this by going for map renderer of in the e dot get map dot get renderers because that'll give us a list. And for each one of these, we're going to go e dot get map remove renderer. And that'll basically just remove the current renderer. So that'll remove what's rendering the world. Now when we're done, we need to add our renderer. So we're going to add our name renderer. Oh, oops. Or add renderer. New name renderer. Just like that. And then we need to create that class and it should add that and then implement the methods. Now what we have to do here is we'll just rename these to view canvas and p. So what we can do is we can go canvas is basically uh, look, the page of the map. So we can go canvas dot and then we can draw stuff. I think you can modify the cursors. Yeah. Uh. So we could add a cursor ten ten in the direction of byte three of two. We'll see what that does. Um but anyway. We can just go draw text, and then what we need to do is this is the coordinates, so we could have it at uh, 10 10 as an example. And then we need to provide a font which will be Minecraft font dot font, and this is included in bucket. And then this is the text we want to draw, so we could say hi, and then add p dot name and I'll just put their name so there's a simple map renderer we'll, we'll just test this out by exporting it reloading our server you will have to create a new map each time or reboot the server you'll see that that one's already been done so if we just ah uh, yes there we are as you can see there's now a pointer on the map as well in that direction. 
so you could have pointers on your map. You could probably rig something up so it does something really fancy. But yeah. Um, so that's basically the tutorial. There's not much else to do. I'll show you how to um, do something else cool. So what you can do is you can draw images. Or you can draw text. I don't think you can draw... Oh, you can draw pixels. I'm not sure how that works. We'll just do that again. So, pixel apps uh, 20, 20, bytes, and is it something like, I have no clue how this works. I'm just testing it out for the fun. Let's have a look. Uh, get rid of that part. No. Hmm. Yeah, there could be like a dot somewhere, but I can't see it. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. If you do anything really cool with this idea, please make sure you let me know. If you have a suggestion for the next tutorial, I generally get them off uh, people who need help doing them. Uh, I, I, I think that pretty cool ideas, so thank you for watching.